everyone. Welcome back for another week of Tiny Tots. This week we are going to learn all about the letter P. P is for platypus, after all. I'm going to go over some book recommendations that we can talk about so you can read all about platypuses. And we're going to do a little craft and create a platypus bookmark. And we're also going to learn what other words begin with the letter P. Let's begin. This first book is titled A is for Australian Animals by Frane Lesak. And excuse me if I pronounce that, pronounce that wrong. And this book has not just P is for platypus, but other words that begin, or other animals that begin with the letters of the alphabet that are specifically from Australia. And so if you want to learn more about um, the unique characteristics of platypuses, for instance, that they are one of the only venomous mammals, I highly suggest you check out this book. E. Moo by Annika Dunkley and Brian One is about a, a platypus that is hatched from an egg because they are egg-laying mammals and all the animals on the farm can't figure out what it is. So he goes on a journey to find out who he actually is and it turns out he's not actually an emu like they had originally thought. He is a platypus and eventually he finds his family. Platypus and the Lucky Day by Chris Riddle. And this book is about a platypus who goes on some adventures and has some not so lucky days, and in the end has a very lucky day. And last but not least, This, this Zoo is Not For You by Ross Collins is about a platypus who is interviewing for a spot at the zoo and all of the animals are deciding whether or not he belongs there. In your Take and Make kit this week, you should have received this practice sheet. This week, we are going to learn how to write an uppercase letter P and a lowercase letter P. Let's get started. For an uppercase letter P, we are going to write a vertical line first. And for the second line, we loop around touching the dotted lines. One, two. One, two. For a lowercase letter P, we are going to do a very similar thing, but we are only gonna stay on the bottom half of the dotted lines. One, two. One, two, one, two. Let's review. For an uppercase letter P, we are going to draw a vertical line and loop it around on the dotted lines. For a lowercase letter P, we are going to draw a vertical line and do the same thing, but staying in the bottom half of the dotted lines. And there you have it. We've learned what an uppercase letter P looks like and a lowercase letter P, but what other words begin with the letter P? P is for pig. P is for peas. P is for pie. P is for pear, and P is for pumpkin. In this week's Take and Make kit, you should have received two different colors of foam, eyes, the platypus bookmark pieces, and glue dots. Let's begin. Step one, have an adult assist you with cutting the platypus body parts out of the paper. So we're going to cut each one. Step two, place the platypus body on the, the long skinny piece onto the dark brown foam and trace it with a marker. Step three, trace the four flippers 
and bill onto the light brown tan foam. Step four, have an adult assist you with cutting the pieces out of the foam. Step five, using glue dots, glue the bill onto the body just above the shoulders. So these parts that stick out are gonna be the shoulders. So we're gonna put it here and you're gonna make sure, cause this is gonna be the flap for the bookmark. So you're gonna make sure when you put the glue dots on, you're gonna stick them toward the top so that I can still open and close. And it can still open and close. Step six, turn over the brown body so that the bill is facing downward. Using glue dots, stick two flippers on one side and two flippers on the other side. And you're gonna barely stick them on so that when they're facing the front, you'll still be able to see them. I'm gonna put my glue dots on first. Step seven, flip the platypus back over so that he's um, facing forward. And we're gonna stick the eyes above the bill. Step eight, use a marker to add web lines to the flippers and nostrils onto the bill. So we're going to add nostrils onto the bill and make the flippers look a little webbed. And there you have it, your platypus bookmark.